there is actually a really good reason why you should say please and thank you to your chatbots. And it's not just so that AI will spare you when the apocalypse comes. Um, okay, I'm sure you've seen all sorts of posts telling you what prompt to use to get the most out of your language model. I think you can pretty much forget all of that because there's only really one important thing to remember, which is that the AI that we have now is really, really, really good at role playing. Um, so you shouldn't talk to it like it's a Google search or like you're trying to extract information from it as though it's Wikipedia. Instead, you should talk to it as though it's an improvisational actor that can be any character imaginable. And the reason for this is that large language models, they don't store facts like it's a database, right? They, they generate responses dynamically based on having read everything that humans have ever written and the prompt that you give it. And that means that AI, the stuff we have now, it doesn't have this stable identity, right? It doesn't have a fixed worldview. It doesn't have personal beliefs. And so if you prompt it in a particular way, it will respond in kind. If you try and prompt it as though it's a Shakespearean bard, then it will give you a flowery response. If you try and prompt it as though it is a, an extremely effective and smart scientist, it will give you the relevant response. But if you prompt it as though it's an encyclopedia, it's going to try and sound like one, uh, but it's still just performing a role and you've effectively just restricted what it can do. So instead, what you should do is you should, you should imagine that you're a film director, right? And that you have a character in mind and then you should prompt your AI accordingly. So don't say, give me three interesting facts about science. Say, you are a world-renowned scientist with PhDs in biology and chemistry and physics and, and, and your nephew says that science is boring. You only have a few minutes and you've got to, you've got to give him counter examples. What, what extraordinary stories do you use? And here is the big idea, right? If you are working with a character and you want that character to eagerly help you, whoever they are, it's probably better to be polite.